What's up everyone, this is Jet from Pen and Journal. Welcome back to my channel. I've just came back from the Philippines from my mission trip and for now I'm just settling down in my country looking for work and also doing some housekeeping. So I've curated my fountain pen collection to just 11 favorites that I'll be using. This collection may change over time, it may increase, but hopefully it will decrease. So let's get down to it. So I'll be sharing the collection in terms of pricing. I will showcase the pens that's, that'll be the most expensive down to the cheapest. But in no way these are in order of my favorite pens. All of them are my favorites. Equally well liked, well loved. So let's get to the first pen. So this is the Delta Israel 50 anniversary pen. This is a limited edition. And I'm trying to get into focus. As you can see, the serial number here is 22 out of 1948. This pen was made in 1998. As you can see that um, on the clip itself, or rather the cap itself, beautiful engravings of sterling silver 925. You can see the style of David. 50 year anniversary, the olive leaves, Star David again, Israel, just wonderful craftsmanship. I love the typical delta clip with the, with the wheel. Um, you can see that the pen comes in the Israel flag colors of blue and white. And I'm capping, you can see that beautiful, beautiful millennium. 18k gold nib with um, dual colors, gold and silver. And this nib is a very wet nib. And I'll show the writing samples as we go along the way. And this is a piston, or sorry, rather, this is a com this is a converter cartridge converter field pen comes with the original Delta converter. Love the resin. Just simply love the uh, hand-turned resin that comes in these pens. I got this from the auction in Europe. It's a pricey pen, the most expensive pen in my collection at the moment, but I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. Now we come to the second pen. This is the Aura Optima Burgundy Red. The reason I purchased this pen is because of the Auraloid. Wonderful, wonderful, beautiful colors, beautiful depth of colors. I couldn't get enough just looking at the make of this pen. And I believe the camera can't really do it justice can see the engraving of the text and the body of the pen just beautiful and comes in the F nib this is uh, I believe is ebonite feed with a 14k nib very stiff nib I actually worked on this nib for a little bit using micro mesh to smooth it out a little bit it's a wet nib but it's a stiff nib, typical of um, Aurora brand of the way of how they tune their nibs. Absolutely gorgeous beauty here. It's uh, quite a small pen, but very comfortable to hold. Very well designed indeed. And the third pen will be the Mont Blanc. My Stuck 146. I got this from the auction as well. This is a vintage pen with ebonite feed. 
and 14k gold nip. This pen cost me quite a little bit and a lot of headaches as well as the pen leaks and I'm still troubleshooting on a leak. Right now it's being filled with water as I'm trying to figure out uh, where exactly is wrong with the pen. I managed to take this pen apart, clean it out, the nib collar unit, the barrel section, all the way down to the piston mechanism. And my suspicion is that the piston seal is a little bit banged up in the sense that it's quite uh, burred up. And I guess the reason is that um, this pen is have inked dried up in the barrel and when we work on the piston mechanism as the piston moves up and down you got damage because of the dry ink getting scratches into the hard silicon piston seal itself I managed to sand it down with sandpaper and micro mesh smooth it out added silicon grease it seems to work now but I will bring this pen along with, with me in my travels, in my bag and hopefully can see whether the seal is good whether it is um, whether sending down the piston seal and putting a generous amount of silicon grease helps in sealing up this pen we'll take a look and see but nevertheless I have inked this up before with powder black writes superbly well yes he has his own characteristic very very lovely pen and every serious fountain pen collector should have a Mont Blanc in their collection now moving on we have the Pilot Custom Heritage 912 with FE nib I got this from an auction an online auction as you can see it has a name engraved I'll be removing this name hopefully I'm able to do it successfully I'm not too sure I'm gonna give it a try I'm gonna record it <laughs> videotape it and see how it goes and this nip just blew me out of the water uh, I got this pen not too long ago and just absolutely love the FA nip it is flexible, it is smooth, it is buttery smooth, it is bouncy, it has a nice bounce to it. Uh, I have Apache Sunset inked up in this pen. Absolutely love the way it writes, it feels in the hand when you put the nib on paper. Just beautiful, lovely writing experience. So this will be the custom self. Uh, not sell for two, but rather the custom Heritage 912 with the FA nib with the rhodium trimmings. And I have another pen. This is the custom 742. This comes with the number 10, pilot number 10 nib in fine. I love this pen because this nib. I custom tune it myself, it writes like a dream, it writes like butter on ice. <laughs> it is such a wonderful nib to write in. And it took me some time to tune it, but thankfully, thank God, it turned out well and it became one of my favorite, favorite writers in my collection. Absolutely love this nib, absolutely love this pen. I love the look of the, f I look I like the way it looks, I like the, the simplicity look of the pen, the classic blacks with the gold trims, beautiful. And now we come to what I call my, you can see it, this is pretty much my go-to pen. Or if you ask me if there's one pen I need to choose among all the 11 you have to choose force to choose to have only just one pen in my collection one pen 
collection. This will be the one. This is the Delta Dolce Vita Federico Stand 24. This is a cheaper version in the sense that it doesn't come with the sterling silver uh, engravings. It comes with the steel uh, trimmings and it doesn't have the 18k or 14k gold nib. It comes with the fusion nib instead. But nevertheless, I got this pen off a very good price in the carousel. A pen like this will cost about six or seven times the amount I paid. I won't say how much I pay for it, but very, very glad to have it in cheap. So once again, this is the cheaper version in the sense it comes with the steel trimmings and the fusion nib. This is the EF nib, piston filled, lovely, lovely raisin, hand turned raisin body. I can't stress how in love I'm with this beautiful, beautiful raisin piece. The depth, the chatoyance, the colors, the vibrancy of the orange. The camera doesn't really do it justice. You have to see it in person to appreciate this pen. And I just love the design. I love the clean design. I love the straight lines. I love the girth of this pen. It's the girthiest of all the pens that I own. Super girthy, but I just love that feel, even though I don't have really big hands, but just a superb rider. Just a superb, superb rider. And definitely, this pen will be what I call the one pen collection if I have to choose. And after that, we will come down to this vintage Pilot Mule, if I can pronounce it correctly, MYU Mule. This is a vintage pen. And if I can zoom in closer, you can see the engravings here. It, show, it shows F, stand for F nib. And the numbers H873 shows that it is manufactured in August 1973. It is a wonderful, wonderful, reliable rider. I love the engineering behind it. As you can see, the body and the nib is just one piece stainless steel, and it is a smooth rider. The nib feels very stiff, as it should be, but it's a smooth battery smooth rider, very wet rider, absolutely loving it. I carried it in my traveler's notebook where you can withstand all the rough handling. You can just throw this back, you can throw this in the back and no problem whatsoever with this pen. This is one of my absolute favorites. I didn't expect this to be part of my collection, but when I wrote of it, just love it, love the feel. Love the look, love the engineering, love the capping mechanism. Absolutely one of my top favorites, the Pilot Mio 701. And now we come to the Twist Beast. Or rather, I should show this first. This cost me a little bit more than the black one as I got this black one on a discount. This is the Twist Bee Rose Gold in white. This is my first Twisby pen and it really opened up my admiration and respect for Twisby pens in general. Very very lovely writer. I have Twisby Royal Purple in it and the nib never ceased to amaze me. It performs or even outperforms some of the gold nib pens that I have. Very smooth writer, very reliable writer. It's a looker as well with the gold trimmings. Beautiful, beautiful, lovely pen. One of my cherished, most cherished pens in my possession for now. And then we have the Twispy Rose Gold in smoke. This is a stun, stun, a stunning looking pen as well with Iruji Zuku Yamabudo in it. I thought the color combination with the gold trimmings with the smoke colors is just amazing. The nib didn't write as good as the the white rose gold 
both are both EF. I had to tune this nib myself and it took me a while before I can tune it and now it writes like a dream, writes very wet but it writes more like an F instead of EF now because of my uh, constant <laughs> micro mashing but nevertheless no regrets, love this pen, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful little pen here. And now we come to the Pilot Prera. You can see I have a lot of Pilot pens. Absolutely love the brand. I, I dropped this little, this little pen and I have the uh, broad or what we call the uh, calligraphy nib or stub nib in it. And I use this primarily as uh, a pen for greeting cards or when I just feel like doing some casual calligraphy, this would be my pen. And just love that capping mechanism, the capping feel of it. One of my favorite steel knit pens, definitely in my collection. And now we come to the last but not least. This is the cheapest pen in my collection, but this pen is a beast. This pen writes, this pen is reliable, this pen is... Um, what you call it should be an, an everyday carry pen for me. As you can see, I swap up the Kakuno nib and I have the a Pilot Prera nib in its place. I'm not too sure what happened to the Kakuno nib. I believe I may have experimented with um, tuning nibs and I may have destroyed it. But nevertheless, this nib is, is the same as the Kakuno's, writes beautifully super reliable writer I love the capping mechanism this is the pen that you want at your fingertips at all times every time you need to to do take notes or write something in a very uh, quick manner this pen will be the one super easy to uncap super easy to pose if you need to uh, you can throw it in your bag you can drop it it won't spoil it is with me all this time and this pen is the pen that started out my founder pen journey it's the first pen that I own and I just love the simplicity I love the cheap um, how cheap it is and I love how reliable it is one of my pens that will be always one of the pens that will be always in my collection at all times Pilot Kakuno if you not try this pen out please Get one, try it out, you will definitely love it. So I come to the end of my review, if you can call it, of my 11 pen collection. Hope you like it, please subscribe, please like, please share the video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. For now, take care, God bless and goodbye.